I'm assisting the black. Yes.
Brothers and sisters, as usual, the time is gone. We thank you for another opportunity to worship him in spirit and in truth. And now we'll have Brother Mark come and read the announcement. This time, we're ready to take up the offering so you can prepare yourself for the offering. Welcome to First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. On the prayer list, we want to continue to keep Pastor Jennings in your prayers as well as his family. We want to pray for the brothers that minister along with them and their families. We want to continue to pray for the sick and the shut in. The youth department, as always, we want to continue to pray for one another. We want to give a happy birthday to all of those celebrating a birthday in the month of April. I want to remember uh, Sister Bertha and her granddaughter, Sister Julia Williams and husband, Sister Porter, Sister Zanadi Ch Chaz, Brother Felton, and Mother Irene Clark, who's hospitalized. They both had strokes. And I want to remember Sister Monique Vinson, that the Lord would bless her. Also, there will be a brotherhood meeting today, 15 minutes after the service. That will take place in the gymnasium. There will also be a sisterhood meeting today that will take place immediately following the service. We ask that everybody, if you can make it, please be at these meetings, both the brotherhood meeting 15 minutes after the service and the sisterhood meeting that will take place immediately after the service. Also, uh, there will be prayer tomorrow from 7 to 9 p.m. Next announcement. This comes from the headquarters youth committee. Uh, this is the bus trip to Six Flags Amusement Park says youth up to 50 years old fellowship event. Use the link to sign up located in the restrooms and by the piano. All payment due on Sunday, May 5th. Again, this is coming from the youth department so you can see uh, either Sister Tania or Sister Tiana Hicks. Next announcement, uh, this is regarding um, Brother Storr's burial. That will take place, Lord willing, Thursday, April 11th at 1 p.m. The address is Eastern Shore Veterans Cemetery. That's 6827 East New Market Elwood Road. That's Harlock, Maryland, 21643. And the viewing would be 10 a.m. to 12 noon at Bolden Tellman Mortuary. That address is Bolden Tellman Mortuary. Uh, that's 311 South Main Street. That's Federalsburg, Maryland, 21632. Um, for additional information, you can email the Delmar Temple at fc.delmar at fcooljc.com. Again, fc.delmar at fcooljc.org. Again, that's regarding Brother Storr's burial. And the, the next announcement um, is the, it says, Pastor Jennings is starting a new temporary location for the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ Incorporated, welcoming all the saints of Washington, D.C. and surrounding areas. The location will be at Apostolic Faith of no, Church Jesus Christ. That's canceled, brother. Oh, it's canceled? Oh, oh. we rescheduled that. Oh, we're going to reschedule so we get back to you with more information regarding that. Um, the next, somebody say amen still, amen. Uh, the next announcement, um, this is the Pine Bush, New York. Um, it says the church dedication services. That will take place on April 20th, which is that Saturday at 5 p.m. And Sunday, April 21st at 11 a.m. And again at 5 p.m. That address is 29 New Street. That's Pine Bush, New York. Again, 29 New Street, Pine Bush, New York. And the next announcement is the, up, um, is the updated baptism count for the past week. This is a one-week report. Uh, two in headquarters, 64 during the Holy Youth Convocation, one in Rocky Mount, one in Rocky Mount, North Carolina, three in Florence, South Carolina, 10 in Greensville, South Carolina, one in Las Lafayette, Lo um, Louisiana, four in Federal Way, Washington, 20 in Little Rock, Arkansas, and 19 in Memphis, Tennessee, international, one in Dubai, two in Ontario, Canada, one in Nigeria, three in Malawi, five in Johannesburg, South Africa, and seven in Cape Town, South Africa. That's a one week total of 143 souls. Yeah. 
for more information regarding the upcoming baptisms in your area or to contact us to be baptized, you can visit the website at www.truthofgod.com. Again, www.truthofgod.com. That will conclude the announcement at this time. Now for the most important part of everything we've done so far, the Word of God by Pastor Gino Jennings. Greetings, brothers and sisters. As always, we bear witness to the oneness of God, his great wisdom, his understanding all of us, the way of holiness that's made known from God through the prophets and the apostles, and we thank and praise as always. Thank God for all of you that are here this afternoon. Time go by so quick. I was just telling Williams, you know, last week we were just in the convention. And we thank God for the many that were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus and received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Let me say to all of our viewers in reference to the starting date of the new Washington, D.C. location. Now, uh, we are thankful, I am grateful for the church that considered opening their doors, considering our stand is a very Bible strict stand. I don't believe in compromising that stand for nothing and nobody. As I was there, thank you, sir. <laughs> As me and the brothers was there, we gave them the opportunity to ask us whatever was on their mind, the board of directors and whatnot. Uh, because they know I preach against using the term apostolic. There is no such description of God's belief in the Bible. When the Bible says they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine, the doctrine of the apostles was the teaching of Jesus. And what Jesus taught them was holy teaching, sanctified teaching, that teach us how to serve him and live for him, and if need be, die for him. So some held back and wouldn't ask questions, but I was, I waited and see what would take place. And, and of course, the grumbling started after I left. And, uh, one of the concerns was, was I going to take over their churches? <laughs> because the people we will send there will exceed more people than they ever had. I mean, we have close to three or 400 just waiting in D.C. by themselves. And uh, it'll fill all four of their churches up. They want to to know well, what will happen if all this money is raised. Is he going to take the money and out of the church account? And the brother talking about it, I said, look, tell him I thank them, but no thank you. <laughs> Amen. God gave us a gospel that can help everybody. If you got four empty buildings and no overseer, no leader, no bishop, who in their right mind will not welcome the message of holiness, especially if you say you believe the same thing we believe. So the brothers expressed how disgusted and hurt they were because of the way the different ones was acting up. And I told them, I said, look, if we send people there, I'm sending them there to be welcomed. These are all new souls. Yeah. 
You're going to see them coming in with makeup and earrings and not having their head covered and women with pants on, some with shorts on, everything going to come in. And if you don't know how to treat us with the truth, God help you how you treat them that just starting in the truth. So I told the brother, he said, Pastor Jennings, I was so hurt after the meeting, I cried. I said, don't worry about it. Tell them I said, thank you, but no thank you. So to Washington, D.C., brothers and sisters, uh, we're going to reschedule the meeting for the opening of the new location for Washington. And uh, we will give you a new date. Just keep tuned of the date and location. I don't need to start off with confusion. Amen. I don't need that from nobody. You know, people's priorities are messed up today. Worrying about property, and I told them, God made me a builder. I told them in the meeting, I don't want your four churches. I don't need them. I don't want your money. All I want is your soul to be saved from hell. You can have all your brick, and you can have your mortar. Amen. Of course, that was shocking to them. They even had to admit that I was the first preacher they ever met who said they don't want their money because practically all these devils want everybody money. So uh, God will bless us in time. I got a meeting with the bishop uh, in D.C. that wanted to give us his church right in D.C. So I have a meeting with him. He's worried he'll be turning 88 uh, this year. And he said, look, I don't have much time. I need, I need this lawyer to contact me as soon as possible. I say, I'll tell you what you do. You meet with your members first. Meet with your members. How you going to do it? Brothers and sisters or brothers separate, sisters separate. It, it, it doesn't matter. Because if you got people that have contributed over the years to build up something, even if it's small, be considerate and meet with them and let them know what you got in mind. To own them. Now, if I wasn't concerned about the souls, I would just go on and do whatever we're going to do. But no, if you got one soul, I want that one saved like 1,000. That one is just as important. So, <clears throat> and uh, so I met with him and he contacted me early in the week. He said, I had a meeting with the brothers, and some brothers walked out and left. And he said, but listen, my mind is made up. He said, you got the truth, and uh, you, you straightened me out on whole, so many things. And he said, Pastor Jennings, I'll be 88, I believe, this year. He said, I don't want to go to hell. I don't care how young or how old, but it's something to live in this earth long time just to die and wake up in hell. That would be miserable, burning, with no let up, ever. And you can't come back and repent for one thing. Not one. So, to you that uh, was in Brandywine, Maryland, we thank God for your consideration. And, uh, God willing, I hope you that accept the way of holiness, that accept the way of holiness, if they don't want to walk with the truth, you do it. Save yourself. Because the Bible says, how can you hear without a preacher? How can he preach except they be sent? If you in the church and you don't have no leader, no God sent preacher, that's not a church. That gives people room to freelance, float around, and do what they want to do with no type of biblical order, like Israel did, like they did in the days of Nimrod. So uh, to Washington saints, don't be discouraged. God willing, I believe God will provide. He never failed me to this hour at no time. 
I think of the days of uh, Abraham. He supplied them with a necessary ram in the bush. He's going to do the same thing for the truth of God. So, no, we're not stuck. We're just going to wait and continue to wait and search and work like we have been doing for years. Now, I want to remind everybody, Pine Bush, New York, dedication service is coming up. Harlem, New York is this month. Pittsburgh yeah. is this month. So we definitely want the buses to be ready. Don't come to me and tell me that all of them is broke. <laughs> I mean it to my transportation committee. God knows I mean this. There's no excuse to have about five or six or seven buses out on the lot and none of them is working. <laughs> Bible says this, be ready for every good work. And if the Bible says that, then we want to be ready in every manner for every good work. Let us remember that the International Holy Convocation is coming up this year. Everybody looking forward to be in Charlotte, what's that, South Carolina or North? <laughs> I always get that mixed up. Charlotte, North Carolina. Now we have over 350,000 subscribers over that. I hope as many hundreds of thousands of you as possible around the world will meet us in Charlotte, North Carolina. Everybody come, all my enemies, you're welcome. All the heathens, you're raging so much, you come. Cause we'll be invading Charlotte, North Carolina and bring Charlotte what Charlotte so badly need. I know the city have a whole lot of so-called apostolic churches and holy churches and all that stuff. That doesn't matter. God only have one people. And the thing that's keeping the people of God apart are the preachers. Everybody got this crazy ego. Uh, they ease God out of the church. That's their ego. This one worrying about his work, and their work. Nobody want to work for God. They want to work for themselves. I'm interested in working for God. In fact, that's who I work for. I was hired by him and sent by him and divinely called by him, and I'm going to be on the job as long as God have breath in my body. I'm determined to be on the job and be on it well. All right, let's go to work in the Bible. You better give me the third chapter of the book of Lamentations. Amen. Begin at verse 22. Amen. Follow me in your Bible. Third chapter of the book of Lamentations. All of my viewers, we're glad that you're here. Tell your pastor we're back again so he can learn something. Get his pencil and his paper. You know, a lot of people write me and tell, was telling me, tell me how they bishop will preach what we preach. He'll tell them, don't listen to the broadcast. But then he'll be taking notes and preach the following Sunday what we preached the Sunday before and then lie and say he got about revelation. There's quite a bit of preachers doing that. Well, you learn. Because there's nothing right under the sun. Nothing. But what Jesus gave his apostles, and we settled on that. Oh, yes. We are settled on that. It's a learning process. Everybody has to learn the lessons of God. The apostles were students of Christ. And they left on record what we should have now. Oh, yes. The problem with the world Everybody, well, most of everybody, have turned their back on what the apostles preach, even many of them that used to believe it. Many of them that used to believe it, stand firm on it, were solid on it. My God, man, as the time went on, they began to water it down and kick out so much of the doctrine of the apostles out the Bible. What have came in the church? Man's tradition, yes. man's custom, man's ideology. 
And when you stand on the Bible, please don't be surprised who got it in for you. Hmm. Listen at this. In the book of Lamentations chapter 3, and we'll start reading in verse 22. Yes. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. It is of God's mercy hmm. that he didn't consume us. Everybody can bear witness to that. That's right. Even you that don't like us, you God bless you to still live so you can continue not to like us. <laughs> That's right. Take advantage of it while you're living. Hurry up, get it over it. That's right. And come on back and love God's word. <laughs> it's something to be mad at something that you have to obey. Amen. And you can't change it. I can't change this. You can't change it. That's right. There's an old song that the old timers used to sing. You can't change it. It's the word of God. Nobody can change it. Nobody. Nobody can change. It's the word, and it is. It's the God's word. That's right. In order for this to change, you can change ink and paper, but you're not changing the word. No. The word is God. That's right. And God is forever settled, settled in heaven. Settled. Listen at this. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. Yes. Because his compassions fail not. Because God's compassion don't fail us. Don't fail. We're not consumed. I yes. was thinking this week, Williams was asking me, did you feel the earthquake last week? <laughs> oh, yeah, I felt it. My house, I, listen, I felt it and heard it. It was loud. And I, my house was shaking. I was upstairs, my wife was in the kitchen, she <laughs> yelling, calling my name, Gino! <laughs> well, that's the wrong one to call. <laughs> huh? That's right. I, I, I was in it just like she was. <laughs> she was running upstairs to come get me. Gino, come downstairs, the house is shaking. <laughs> ain't nothing I can do. <laughs> It ain't nothing I can do. Uh, and God didn't give it to me to say, peace be still. No. <laughs> Amen. But that God shook the East Coast and Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Delaware, New York. God is not finished. No. That's right. I want the world to understand. The only thing that's keeping the world Still here. That's right. There are some holy people in the earth. Oh, yes. Amen. Oh, yes. Thank God if you know anything about the days of Noah, God helped back the flood because there were righteous people still here. Righteous people. Amen. But he saved the righteous. That's right and destroyed them that would not hear Noah and Methuselah. That's right. You know, there are some prophecies in the Bible that's to be fulfilled over, over, and, over. and over again. That's right. Wars are one of them. That's right. The Bible said there shall be wars and rumors of wars. Rumors. That's going to be all the way to Jesus, oh, to yes. Jesus come. Earthquakes, Earthquakes is another. Earthquakes in divers places. places. Many, places. Many places. Now, can you imagine? This is only a few weeks after God shook Taiwan up. That's right. And believe me, what Taiwan got was worse than what we got. Oh, yes. Buildings came down and lives was lost and souls died. That's right. God has proven to the world you don't own nothing. Right. Oh my God, I keep telling you people, you don't own nothing. No. The Bible says, naked, you came in the world. Naked. And naked you shall return. That's right. So God is, by his wisdom and his divine understanding, is shaking up humanity. Hmm. But uh, man still is not fearful. No. You make you wonder, what is it going to take for people to bow to the Most High? That's right. They are not fearful. That's right. The world still continue 
as it is. As it is. The world can go through an earthquake, a tsunami, thunderstorm, lightning, hurricanes. Once it's over, everybody come right back, back. doing the same thing. That's right. Like there is no God. That's right. But a day coming, human family, you gonna cuss the day your mother was pregnant with you. Oh yes. Oh, when yes. God Almighty shake the earth with such force. That's right. And it's coming to America too. Oh yes, it is. Amen. When you witness Congress fall apart. Oh yes. Like a puzzle. Amen. And when you witness the White House fall to the ground, oh, not a column, not a stone will stand. That's right. Congressmen, Democrats, and Republicans will run for cover. That's right. And you won't have no place to hide. And Jesus said unto them. Listen at what Jesus said. In the book of St. Matthew, chapter 24, and at verse 2. Hear this. And Jesus said unto them. Jesus said to them. See ye not all these things? Yes. Verily I say unto you. Verily I say to you. There shall not be left here one there stone. There shall not be left here one stone. Upon another. Upon another. That shall not be thrown down. Do you hear that? That's right. Glory in your mansions and your properties now. Amen. Glory in what you have now. Oh, yes. Amen. Look at all this work that God is blessing the truth of God to do around the world. Hmm. Not one stone going to stand. That's right. All these buildings and properties that's being bought for the truth of God, for the people to worship God in spirit and in truth. That's all right. That's God right. going to tear it up and burn it down. That's right. He is. He going to burn it all. And I know he is. <laughs> and you know it. <laughs> That's right. Till the Bible says, every man work shall be tried by, by fire. By fire. He going to burn it up. That's right. Listen at this. And Jesus said unto them, see ye not all these things. Give chapter and verse again. St. Matthew chapter 24. We'll start at verse 1. Yes. And Jesus went out and departed from the temple. Uh -huh. And his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. That's the way people are now. <laughs> That's right. I thank God for the temples, but I don't glory in them. Oh, yes. I don't glory in brick and mortar and uh, wires and all of that stuff. That's right. I had men lay ultimatums with us, wanted to give us their churches. <laughs> if I would change my Bible stand. Oh. <clears throat> That's insulting. Amen. When are you men going to realize that I'm a man that cannot be bought by nobody? <laughs> That's right. Hear me good. Hear me good. You can offer me anything you want, but truth of the matter is <laughs> the God of heaven whom I serve, nobody can match what he already offered me. That's right. You know, God offer you eternal life with him. Anytime Christ offer you eternal life with him, hmm. it's nobody that can offer anything that rivals Amen. him. Amen. Nobody. Nobody. Listen at this now. And Jesus went out and departed from the temple. Yes. And his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. Yes. And Jesus said unto them, see ye not all these things? Hear this, human family. See ye not all Build these things? Build your mosque. That's build right. your synagogues, build your churches, That's right. build your beautiful homes. Amen. But hear what Jesus said. And Jesus said unto them, see ye Thank not. God, do you see? All these things. All these things. Verily I say unto you. Verily I say unto you. There shall not be left here one stone upon another. Glory to God. That shall not be thrown down. Do you hear that? That's right. That's what give me consolation. That's right. So you people that's trying to hold on to your property, amen, think how foolish you are. Oh, yes. I'm not holding on to nothing. <laughs> amen. But my soul. That's right. That's it. That's it. That's the only thing that I'm determined never to lose. That's right. If I lose anything in anybody, all right. <laughs> it may hurt me, but all right. All right. If that's what I got to go through, all right. That's right. But if I lose my soul, yeah. all wrong. <laughs> That's right. I say all wrong. That's right. 
Thank God now, now I got to fight for it. Oh, yes. Huh? Oh, yes. There's no maybe so. Glory to maybe God so. about it. I have to fight oh, to right. save my soul. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. That's why the word of God is thundering like it is here. Oh, yes. Here in the truth of God, because we want the world to realize you have to fight to fight. save your soul. Fight the good fight of faith. Hallelujah. Glory. The Bible says what? Fight the good fight Give of faith. Give chapter and verse here. First Timothy chapter 6 and we're at verse 12. Give chapter and verse again. First Timothy chapter 6 and we're at the 12th verse. The apostle Paul said. Fight. Fight. The good fight of faith. Our glory. Hallelujah. Fight. Fight. The good fight of faith. Lay hold. Lay hold. On eternal life. On eternal life. Whereunto thou Where art also unto called. Thou art also called. And has professed a good profession. And has professed a good profession before, before what? Many, before many witnesses. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before many witnesses. That's right. Now, Hallelujah. understand this. Hallelujah. Your soul <clears throat> is the greatest thing that you have here now. That's right. That's it's right. the only thing worth fighting for. That's right. To save your soul. Save your soul. Amen. I, that's why I never can understand why somebody's house is burning and they got a few dogs and a few pets and the house is blazing. Amen. You even got fish in the tank. <laughs> and they go running back in a blazing house. That's to right. save fish, <laughs> let them fish burn and get toasted and then eat them after they're done. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Amen. There's no way I'm going to run inside of a burning. Now, I run in the house to save my family. I would. I run in there to save my wife and save my sons and save my daughters. But fish? Fish. Fish. <laughs> Fish? Amen. Man, that's just saved me from turning the stove on. Uh. Save a cat. <laughs> Amen. Save a dog. That's Not right. me. No. Amen. Let, let the fire burn the dog and the dog die. That's right. That's all. That's right. And if I want another dog, I'll go buy another one or get another. a stray one that's walking down somebody's neighborhood. Amen. And I would never risk my life to no, save a life. pet. You people have more love for a pet than you do your own soul. That's true. Here your soul is on its way to hell. That's true. Thank him. You out there living like the devil out of hell. That's right. On your way to hell and you're not stopping at mm -hmm. all. On your way. And you don't care. Oh, yes. Thank God you will save your pet before you save your soul. What a fool. That's right. Do you hear this? Back in Lamentations chapter 3 and verse 22. Give chapter and verse again. Back in Lamentations chapter 3 and we're at verse 22. Yes. It is, the, it is of the Lord's mercies. It is of the Lord's mercy. That we are not consumed. That we are not consumed. Because his compassions fail not. Now, we're living by God's permission. Uh, compassion. Hear me good. Compassion. God's mercy. Oh, yes. His compassion that he's shown towards all of us. Oh, yes. Proof we're still in the land of the living. That's right. Nobody That's right. can say they deserve no. to still be here. No. And you're not lucky. That's right. You know, some folks say, man, after all I've been through, it's lucky that no, it's not. No, 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 no. no, no. You're either blessed of him or cursed by him. That's right. Huh? That's right. Everybody here, the many hundreds that's here this morning, not one of you is lucky. No. It's not, a, not even the worst sinner in the building is lucky. That's right. You're blessed. Oh, yes. That you're still here. Oh, yes. So you can hear the word of God and get it right. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Hear this now. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. It is of the Lord's mercy. That's it. All right, you ushers back there. Let's get our guests seated. Let's get them seated quickly, please. Amen. There's plenty of seats here, either on the floor or in the balcony. 
We don't want the people have to stand around and wait for you. Not right. Listen at this. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. Yes. Because his compassions fail not. All right. They are new every morning. What? They are new every morning. Hallelujah. What is God's compassion? They are new. They are new. Every morning. <laughs> Hallelujah. Do you hear that? They are new. That's right. It ain't nothing so great about nobody. Nobody. Nothing so great about nobody. That's right. The whole world. That's right. If you're still living, oh yes. You are living because God showed compassion. Compassion. And they are new. Oh, every morning. They are new. They are new every morning. Every morning. Every morning. He just keep That's giving something. you a chance. That's something. Over brother. and over and over again That's right. to repent. That's right. Repent. Repent. Get your soul right with God and be baptized. That's right. In the name of Jesus Christ and tarry till the Lord God fill you with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Speaking in tongues. Hallelujah. As the Spirit of God give utterance. That's right. Amen. You know, I, when I was in a false church, uh, people used to get up and testify and say, I just had to be here. I just had to be saved. No. God had to save me. Well, no. who are you? Not by works of righteousness. I mean, who are you? That's right. Don't be that foolish. Don't be that, Don't be that arrogant. That's right. Don't be that self-righteous. Amen. Don't be that big of a fool. In Titus chapter 3 and at verse 3. Hear this. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. I want you viewers to get this. Amen. Many of you watching are multimillionaires. Yes. Many of you are politicians, mm -hmm. very wealthy. Very wealthy. Many of you own a whole lot, and there's some of you that own just a little. That's right. But you bear in mind, one thing I'm thankful about the scriptures, mm -hmm. they have no respect of persons. Oh, no. Do you hear this? No, no. Listen. Titus chapter 3 and verse 3. Get this. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. We ourselves. We ourselves. Also, we're sometimes foolish. Everybody in here can reflect back of their life. Oh, yes. And everybody in here, you that are watching, That's you right. can say amen to that. Amen. amen. You look how foolish you were, foolish. just as wild <laughs> as a stray animal. <laughs> That's right. Many of you are in and out of jail, and you that are watching, many of you are still in and out of jail. Oh, yes. Amen. Haven't put the cigarettes down yet. Amen. Somebody wrote me a letter, thank God, and they taped, just last week, they, I got the letter, they taped a box of cigarettes to the letter, mm. and uh, the box was empty, mm -hmm. but they said, Pastor Jennings, pray that God delivered me from this box right here. Amen. <laughs> you bear in mind, Amen. there's nothing, yes. nothing, nothing, under the sun That's right. that the God of heaven cannot free you from doing. That's right. Am I right, I said? That's right. Nothing? That's right. Nothing. Amen. Amen. I had a man write me. He said, well, you preach against sin so much until I'm offended. Yeah, mm -hmm. He said, the people following you probably didn't have a hard life like I had. Brother, mm -hmm. brother, <laughs> Brother, <laughs> the Bible tells the apostles, Jesus said, you shall be fishers of men. Fishers of men. I'm a fisherman. That's right. And at no time when anybody fished, if you throw a net out there, That's all right. kinds. Again, the kingdom of heaven. Listen at this. In the book of St. Matthew, chapter 13. And I want 47. this to be good for all of you that are watching. Amen. Because we don't think or have the mindset or the attitude mm -hmm. that we are more holier than thou. No, no. 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 No, we don't have that. This program preach holiness because that's what God wants us to be. That's right. But we don't have the attitude mm -hmm. that we are more holier 
than thou. Which say, stand by thyself. That, that, listen at this now. Now in Isaiah chapter 65 and at verse 5. And then I want you to go back to where you was going to go to, I believe in the book of Matthew. Let's yes, have it. Yes, sir. Uh, Isaiah chapter 65, we're at verse 5. Parliament. Which say, stand by thyself. This is the attitude of people that think they're more holier than thou. They That's right. think they're so uppity, uppity, and That's so right. high up there on Mount Zion. That's right. Uh -huh. Listen at this. Which say, stand by thyself. Which say, stand by thyself. Come not near to me. Don't come near to me. For I am holier. For I am holier. Than thou. Than thou. These are a smoke in my nose. <laughs> That's right. This is the way God look at you. These are a smoke in my nose. Why do God look at you like a smoke? Amen. In his nose when you have that attitude. That's right. Smoke disappear as quick as it comes. That's right. So to God, you're not saying nothing. That's right. And to God, you're not doing nothing. That's right. Hear this. These are a smoke in my nose. Yes. A fire that burneth all the day. Uh -huh. Behold, it is, written, it is written before me. Yes. I will not keep silence. I will not keep silence. But will recompense, even recompense into their bosom. So God don't recognize that type of attitude. He don't respect it at he all. He don't respect and it. And God knows I don't. That's right. You got some people that always... I uh, think they up on the mountain and uh, 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 <laughs> right. you know, mind you, the fool. That's right. Because God have a way of allowing an experience to come in your life to show you where you are. Oh, yes. They don't wake you up. All right, you better give it a book of Matthew. Matthew now. Back in St. Matthew. I want Matthew. everybody to follow this and get this real good. Back in St. Matthew chapter 13 and at verse 46. Yes. Again, the kingdom of heaven. Again, the kingdom of heaven. Is like unto a net. It's like a net that was cast into the sea. That was cast into the sea. And gathered of every kind. <laughs> Amen. It gathered up what? And gathered of every kind. Thank God. That's, it that's gathered right. up every kind. Which when it was full. When it was full. They drew to shore and sat down. Now you that are watching. Amen. We have every kind every in the kind. truth of God. That's right. Every kind. Every kind. And I mean every kind. That's right. I mean, I often know because I, I'm the one that deal with the people by the thousands. Amen. Amen. I'm the one that's sitting in council sessions on the phones and emails and people giving me their personal testimony, what God delivered them from. And so everything you hear me preach against, God brought into the church. That's right. Not one thing. That's right. Not one thing. Amen. I even have ex hitmen here. Yes. Don't want to say what? Oh, yes. I have men that, are, that were ex hitmen. Mm -hmm. Amen. They'd take you out of time or push you into eternity. <laughs> <laughs> but God delivered them. That's right. Now, now, now they're here. I'm the hitman now. Oh, yes. And I'm hitting you with Bible. Amen. 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 We have ex extortioners here. That's right. We have ex-arsoners and arsonists here. Oh, yes. Amen. We have uh, men that was mercenaries. Oh, yes. Who waked up, put down their uh, shooting arms and yes. went down in water after they repented. Amen. We have men and women that were ex-criminals and drug dealers and drug lords. That's right. Had their own laboratory selling crack and yes. making all type of thousands and thousands of thousands. Mm -hmm. I talked to one brother, he gave me his testimony, how he was selling crack and was making close to $50,000 a week. My Lord. A week! My Lord. He said, Pastor Jennings, I was sitting up in my house with my lady friends, plural, because mm -hmm. you're making that type of money, you're not gonna just stick to one. Just, <laughs> no. The devil's not gonna let you do it. <laughs> the devil not going to let you do it. And then you a sinner too? No, you're no. not going to stick to one. You'll get bored. That's right. Because with all that money, you're going to buy everything you can and can everything you get. Amen. And he said he was sitting in his house with his uh, women friends, thank God, and he was searching through the television and who would come on? The truth of God. Yes. 
And the truth of God was pounding his room and pounding his room. He, he had to sit and laugh about it. He said, I had to sit up in the bed. I got out the bed and got to the edge of the bed. He said, my girlfriend came on one side, I pushed her away. My other girlfriend came on the other side, I pushed her away. He said, the other girl want to come and have sex. He said, not now. <laughs> Amen. Wonderful. Not now. Wonderful. He said there was some snorking cocaine in the corner, and they just jumped up and told them all, stop, all of y'all quit. Wonderful. He said they looked at me like I lost my mind. He said I was trapped, mm. trapped by the word. Wonderful. He said he listened at it and listened at it and listened at it. He said then he put it on YouTube. He was watching a telecast, mm. but he clicked and see when my name come up on YouTube. He didn't know I was on that. And when you know it, a whole scroll uh, the truth of God messages came on. Mm. Whole scroll. Amen. He said he just sat there and went binge watching. My oh, Lord. He said, when well, he said, Pastor Jennings, when I was done, I have never been affected by no church mm. and by no preacher. He said, I sat on the bed and said, I got to make a change. Wonderful. Wonderful. He said the hardest thing was not to give up the women. It was to give up making $50,000 a week. Yes. He said that was hard. He yeah. said women are a dime a dozen. <laughs> he said, but money on that magnitude, yeah. $50,000 a week. He said for the first time in my life, mm. glory to God, I fell on my knees. Mm. And he asked God to help him. You see, there are many things yes. you can never do on your own. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. God Almighty <coughs> will reach down from heaven. That's right. Glory to God. And help you in a way oh, yes. that no man can help. That's right. Amen. He began to tell me how he prayed. He heard us preach about asking God to give you a hate mm. for what you love. Lord. That's against him. Amen. He said, Pastor Jennings, I cried and never cried like that since I've been born, begging God to give me a hate. Mm. Give me a hate for making money unlawful. My Lord. He said, I got up. A few days later, all the desire, Wonderful. all the drug desire, everything Wonderful. left him. Wonderful. It all left him. He repented of his sins and came here. You didn't know who he was, Amen. but he came here and went down in water. Wonderful. In the name of Jesus Christ. Many things, viewers, you are trying to fight on your own. You know the word of God is right. That's right. But the devil is doing everything in his power to hold you as a prisoner. That's right. The only one that can liberate you. Yes. The only one that can free you right. is God himself. That's right. That's the only one that can free you. So yes, we have many, many, many here. Amen. Many here. If you look at some now, you would never know. You would never know Amen. that they were strung out on crack. I Amen. mean, had it bad. Mm. Losing jobs, looking, losing cars, and losing family, losing their home, everything. everything. Amen. Strung out, if you look at them, you will never know. Amen. The reason why you will never know, because now they got a testimony that God is a deliverer. That's right. And God is a helper. That's right. Amen. Amen. You got many brothers and sisters in the truth of God that were ex-alcoholics. Amen. They never thought they can lay some bottle down. Oh, they was going to the AA and sitting in circles. My name is Bill. My name is Sally. 
I was an alcoholic. I was clean for two weeks. I was clean for two months. I was clean for two minutes. Yeah. And they find out sitting around them sessions just venting yes. wasn't good enough. That's right. You need something to come inside of your heart. That's right. That can, that can attach to your appetite and That's take right. the taste out your mouth. That's right. They say when God get a hold of you, God. he'll hallelujah, he'll take the taste out your mouth. That's right. He'll take that longing, hallelujah, hallelujah. out of your heart. Oh, yes. Oh, oh yes. thank God. So we have all kinds. Wonderful. Man. All kinds. All kinds. Amen. We have men that used to dress up like women. Yeah. I mean with wigs and lipstick and pumps and dresses and everything. Everything. Thank God, but they heard the word of God. Here, yeah, they came to the meeting. They came to the meeting. Right. In fact, I remember that happened in Harrisburg. I was at the convention center in Harrisburg, and there was a man that came in dressed. You would never knew it was a man because he had on woman clothes. Yes. But the word of God convicted his heart. And uh, it was like Clark Kent <laughs> went inside the phone booth and came out Superman. Amen. Huh? Amen. <laughs> Amen. He, he came in, thank God, dressed like a woman. Amen. But when he came out the water, he came back in the auditorium just like he's supposed to be dressed. Wonderful. Like a man. Wonderful. Amen. You know, brother, when God fix you, he can fix you like nobody can. That's right. Now, look at the powers of hell. Yes. Whatever God deliver you from, yes. that's the same thing oh, that yes. the devil try to pull you back in. That's right. Now become a fight. Right. Now become a struggle. Yes. Amen. Do you hear what the word of God says? Still in Matthew chapter 13 and verse 47. Listen at this. Again, the kingdom of heaven. Is Again. Amen. Glory to God. The kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven. Is like unto a net. Is like unto a net. That was cast into the sea. That was cast in the sea. And gathered of every kind. And gathered of every kind. Which when it was full. When it was full. They drew to shore and sat down. Look how many ex-gang bangers we got here. Oh, yes. I have hundreds, hundreds, ex-gang bangers, Amen. ex-bloods, crips, vice lords, yes. gangster disciples, yes. Mexican mafia, yeah. them that was in the Italian mafia, My Lord. them that was in the black mafia. Mm. We have many that's in the first church of the Lord Jesus Christ because they found out their arms wasn't long enough the fight against God. That's right. Nobody. Nobody. Thank God, you know, I think of the Apostle Paul, the brother Saul, where he was on the road to Damascus. Amen. Breathing out threatenings. Slaughter. Slaughters. Slaughter. Against the disciples of the Lord. Of the Lord. And then the light shined from heaven. Mm -hmm. Above the brightness of the sun, knocked him down to the earth. Yes. God spoke to him. That's right. Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? Thou me. Who art thou, Lord? Mm -hmm. I am Jesus. Jesus. It is hard for thee to kick against the prick. Right. He told Saul that it shall be told thee That's right. what thou oughtest to do. Oughtest to do. You that are watching, it's going to be told you. It's oh, being told you now. That's right. What you, should do. what you should do. Serving God, walking with God, is living a life by his demand. That's right. That's totally opposite from what you used to live. That's right. That's why holiness is not like nothing else. It's no. just not like nothing else. Oh, no. To you people that are watching, you can go to church and your preacher tell you there's nothing wrong. You can still dance as long as you don't overindulge. Mm hmm you can still drink as long as you don't drink too much. Too much. You can still smoke as long as you reduce from 10 a day to about one a day. That's right. 
God says he's going to present to himself mm -hmm. a glorious, glorious church, church not having a spot. Not having spot. Not one. That's right. That's why the word of God come breaking up homes, not living together. Yeah. Hey Amen. You let live together, not married to come break that up. Oh, yes. You preachers that want to get multi-wives and you women that want to get multi-husbands like people writing me now mm -hmm. about a preacher who was on social media fighting me mm -hmm. about the one wife doctrine. <laughs> Amen. Now everything is in disarray. <laughs> Amen. Because they said that he took some uh, man's wife. He took her. Mm. That was under him. He took his wife and took his, I believe, 16-year-old daughter. Lord. Old goat took a 16-year-old girl. My Lord. What a shame. What mm. a shame God knows. That's right. Anytime you believe that you can have more than one wife and you are married, then what you're doing don't seem uh, 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 just unjustifiable to you. No. It seems right. Mm -hmm. The Bible said there's a, ray, a way that seems right unto man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Yes. You know, a lot of folk know this stuff is right. <laughs> they right. know it's right, but because it's so tight, they make every excuse not to obey it. That's right. So when you stand before God, he already had it written. Oh, You're yeah. inexcusable, oh, man. old man. Inexcusable. No excuse. That's right. All right, you better go back to Lamentations now. Back in Lamentations chapter 3. Follow me in your Bible. Lamentations You're chapter that are watching, three. follow me in your Bible. That's right. Listen at this. Lamentations chapter 3 and at verse 22. Listen. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. Yes. Because his compassions fail not. Yes. They are new every morning. They are new every morning. Great yes. is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion. <laughs> Amen. Great. Great is thy faithfulness. God is faithful. Yes, he is. I bear witness, God is faithful. God is faithful. You know, people will let you down, but God won't. No, he won't. Hey, Amen. I thank God for that. In my 40 years of pastoring people, I've been let down so many times I don't have enough limbs to count. <laughs> Amen. Until I'm not surprised when I am. That's right. But God Almighty have never let me down never. since I've been on this planet. Wonderful. That's why I can't, I can never sing the song. I can never sing the song, he mm. never failed me yet. Yes. He never failed me. I can't put it yet next no. to him. No. He just can't fail at all. That's right. He just can't fail at all. That's right. What did he say? Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion. The Lord is my portion. The Lord is my portion, saith my soul. Yes. Therefore will I hope in him. Will I hope in him. In him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. Do you hear that? Lamentations 3 and verse 25. The Lord is good unto them. Is good? Unto them. Unto them. That wait for him. Hallelujah. Do you hear that? <laughs> That's right. The Lord is good to them. That wait for him. That wait. Wait. For him. Wait for him. Wait for him. Notice, viewers, it didn't say wait for them. Yeah, wait for him. Do right. that serving all these gods. All these gods. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost, three in one. It right. ain't no Bible talk that foolishness. No. The very first commandment is hear, O Israel. The Lord our God is one. One Lord. That's right. Just one. That's right. The word of God says what? The Lord is good unto them. The Lord is good unto them that wait that for him. Wait on him. Wait for him. Uh -huh. To the soul that seeketh him. To the soul that seek him. It is good. It is good. That a man should both hope. That a man should both hope. And quietly wait. And quietly wait. For the salvation of the Lord. For God's salvation. That's right. You hear that, Bill? It is good. So I advise everybody. Everybody. Whatever you're fighting with. You're fighting over the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Just wait till God open up your understanding. Wait for him. I know you've been baptized wrong. Practically the whole world. That's right. Father, Son, and Holy That's Ghost, you misunderstood what Jesus said. That's right. The preachers misunderstood him. Your priests misunderstood priest. him. 
Your bishop misunderstood him. That's right. Your pastor misunderstood him. Your so-called apostle misunderstood him. That's right. All these modern-day prophets misunderstood him. Somebody got so mad at the message during the convention, they post, they say you preach with no substance. Prophet, some prophet, prophet lovely got revelation. I don't care if prophet lovely or prophet <laughs> smiley. That's right. If lovely don't repent, don't repent and be baptized in the water right. in the name of Jesus Christ, yeah. and if lovely don't <laughs> receive the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues, yes. and if lovely don't walk with the doctrine of the apostles, right. lovely going to land in hell. That's right. Now, I love that. <laughs> That's right. You That's know, right. these false prophets take on all these fake names. <laughs> Prophet <laughs> lovely and lovely. Prophet smiley and Prophet, nice guy, and all <laughs> like a bunch of wrestlers. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Like a bunch of wrestlers, macho wrestling, all that. Nobody wants to hear that. No. God way is real. That's it. It ain't none of this phony stuff. No. This ain't church of mania. That's right. That's what what do you man. think this is? <laughs> you think this is church of mania? That's right. Ain't no WrestleMania here. <laughs> oh, no. That's fake. That's, That's right. phony. That's right. You folk go to these churches because you want church of mania. <laughs> God said, my house, my house shall be called a house of prayer for all, for all people. people. That's right. That's what right. God, God, church is built on Bible here. Amen. What did he say, son? The Lord is good unto them that the wait Lord for him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him. Go to God. Hallelujah. It's good. To them. That wait for him. That's why the word of God said, consider what I said. That's right. And the Lord will give you the understanding of all things. Oh, I know God. it's in you to fight what you don't understand. Yes. It's in practically most people. Oh, yes. Even in the natural. They don't understand something, they'll argue with you. That's right. They'll fight with you, tell you you're wrong. That's right. Until they take time and consider what you said, and then they're blessed to get an understanding. That's right. There are many men fighting us and women fighting us about baptism in the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost speaking in tongue, yeah. having their own podcast just dedicated to the truth of God, fighting it. My Lord. That won't help you. No. When you're done fighting and your podcast is over, you got to come on back and obey what the word of God said or be ushered in a burning lake of fire. But these is natural brute beasts. Do you hear this? In the book of 2 Peter chapter 2 and verse 12. When you hear us go into the word of God, that's one thing about this program. Mm -hmm. We give Bible for everything. 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 <laughs> everything. That's right. Everything we give you Bible for. That's right. Everything, when we talk about your lipstick and your eyebrow arch and your fake eyelashes and fake hair that you keep buying from Walgreens and CVS Amen. because you can't appreciate what God gave you. Yeah. I look at some of these women got eyelashes so long, I ask myself, how is it possible <laughs> that they can see? Amen. Uh, some of you look so disgraceful. I be in the airports in my travel. Yes. Some of you look like you just got out of bed. No shame. That's true. You got a uh, uh, head bonnet on and your pajamas on and That's right. bedroom slippers and pajama top walking all through the airport with fake eyelashes. I saw one woman walking in through the airport with boots, a pocketbook, and a negligee. My Lord, my Lord. Look just as tacky as a 1912 broken down car. <laughs> no shame. No shame. No shame. That's right. Why no would shame. you dress so because you want attention that bad? Amen. Understand this. If you want attention that bad that you got to show your body parts to the public, the attention you're getting is not worth having. That's right. Amen. A holy, sanctified woman don't mind covering herself. That's right. She's out there in public. She, she don't get tired of covering herself. No. Not ashamed of it. Oh, no. Amen. She'll cover her head gladly. And, gladly. Amen. And stop arching her eyebrows. Let the eyebrows be the way God made them. That's that it. goes for you too, fella. That's right. Because these men now getting all these feminine characters about you, arching your eyebrows. You know your eyebrows don't look like that. That's right. That's right. Grown men, grown men want to put lipstick on and 
put powder on your face, using Guilty. your wife's makeup kit. What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? Amen. Wearing your wife's barrettes and tight, 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 tight <laughs> pants. That's right. When I carry, if I carry a briefcase, it's going to look like a briefcase. That's right. I'm not going to carry nothing that either resembles a pocketbook. That's right. Not even look like it. That's right. Amen. Amen. Not even look like it. That's right. I don't want to wear, I don't want to wear nothing that give me a uh, feminine presentation. That's right. None of nothing. nothing. Uh, any pants I wear, any shirt I wear, I want to know it's a man to have it on. That's right. Am I right, I said? Amen. Go ahead, man. This is old-fashioned, holy, sanctified preaching. <laughs> and right. many of you listening in didn't have a mother or father to teach you nothing. Yes. So you have to thank God for this program to set you on the right track. That's right. And to tell you what they won't tell you. Amen. What the word of God says. But these as natural brute beasts. These. Amen. Listen at the Bible. Second Peter chapter two and verse 12. What is it? But these as natural brute beasts. These as natural brute beasts. Made the, to be taken and kind. destroyed. The stiff neck kind, the hard head kind, yes. the stubborn kind, That's right. the rebellious kind. That's right. Every time you tell him or her something from the word of God, all they do is spend their lifetime fighting yeah. it. Fighting it. Fighting it. That's right. Fighting it. That's right. Amen. Everything we talk about, you can see it the moment you step out the door of your house. That's true. Who in the world will get upset? of this righteous stand we have, Amen. but a hypocrite. But a hypocrite. Do you hear this? Second Peter chapter two and verse 12. What is it? But these as natural brute beasts. These. Amen. As natural brute beasts. Made to be taken and destroyed. Made to be taken and destroyed. Speak evil of the things that they understand not. God knows that's the truth. That's true. That's Some true. folk will claim they love you, but they speak evil of the things of the thing that they understand not. I don't understand. I don't understand. All right, if you don't understand it, but you better keep your mouth to yourself. That's right. Huh? That's right. If I don't understand something, it's best that I'm quiet. Oh, yes. Be quiet. Oh, yes. Ain't no need for me to keep fighting something I don't understand. I may step on dangerous ground. That's true. And if I'm wise, the Bible says he that keep his mouth keep will life. keep his life. That's right. So if I'm wise, I'm not going to touch it. No. I don't want to stand it. All right. After I get the explanation and you explain clearly what it is. What it is. And uh, if I'm wise, I'm not going to keep fighting it because no. I don't want to stand. No. I'm going to consider what's said that God will give me the yeah. understanding in right. all things. That's right. Listen at this. But these is natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed. Listen, young man. Amen. Young woman. Amen. Are you like a natural brute beast? Natural brute beast. Are you out in the streets of your neighborhood drinking beer and whiskey late at night, That's blasting right. your radio, shaking and dancing and partying? That's right. Are you out there with your friends planning on who you're going to rob? Yeah. Who you going to carjack? What woman that in the neighborhood you going to rape? My son, if sinners entice thee. The Bible says. In Proverbs chapter 1 and at verse 10. Proverbs 1 and 10. My son. My son. If sinners entice you thee. You know, there's some families, the son and the father are robbers. That's true. Son and the father, him and his daddy. That's right. Robbing, selling drugs, That's exchanging right. women. Mm. Father and the son. That's right. They act like a fool together. Yes. Amen. But when the son tells the father, you know, I want to stop this. I want to live right. I want to serve God. The father may smack him. That's true. And say, what well, came over you? That's right. But as long as you want to be a fool, you can get a whole lot of encouragement. Oh, yes. I want to say to you, young man and young woman and middle-aged man and middle-aged woman and old. Mm -hmm. You only have the breath in your nostrils. Yes. That's it. Oh, yes. And many of your friends have died already. And you have seen them dead. Amen. And you just stood there and looked at them that you used to drink with, dance with, 
sleep with, That's right. party with, lie with, gamble with, and now he and she is not here. Oh, yes. And their death didn't phase you. That's right. Look at you. You're still a fool. That's right. Look at you. You're still living like a wild animal. Yeah. Look at you. You haven't laid your drugs down at all. all. And you haven't changed your ways. That's right. The same God that take them out of the world is the one that have you here. That's have right. you ever asked yourself, what are you here for? You here the for? only reason why you're still breathing yeah. is God has given you time. That's right. Time over and over That's again right. to get right with him. That's right. That's all. That's it. That's it. That's it. It ain't nothing that tough about you. No. Many of you young, ignorant, arrogant, high-minded things Peach, out there Peach. been shot numerous of times oh, yes. and brag about you survived. Mm. You didn't thank God you, sur you survived. No. You brag you survived. Oh, yes. Many of you women was cut up and brag you survived. That's right. You didn't thank God you survived. No. You just brag. The only one that kept you living is your creator. That's right. That's all. That's right. Ain't nothing so tough about none of you. None. There's none. That's why I don't fear nobody where I go in the world. Go ahead. Because I know that all breath yeah. is in the hands of God. That's right. That's all. That's right. All breath. All breath. It's in God's hand. Oh, yes. Amen. God will bring an experience in your life that will shake you down to your knees. That's right. Many of you say, oh, I never pray. I never talk to God. All right. Mm. Talk your foolish talk. Talk your foolish talk. Give it up. That's right. But God have a way of breaking. He broke Nebuchadnezzar. Yes, he did. Nebuchadnezzar was glorying in Babylon. Babylon. Got so high in mind that he said, is this not great Babylon I that I have built? I built. Amen. He gloried in what he done. Oh, yes. Until the voice of the watcher yeah. spoke out of heaven. And God rent the kingdom from, from him. him. From him. Viewers and you that are here, name one thing you got hmm. that God can't take. That's right. Hear me good. Hear me good. Hear me good. That's right. Name one thing you got. Preacher, 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 preacher rabbi, imam, name one thing you got that the great God of heaven cannot take. And said, naked came out of my mother's womb. Do you hear this? In the book of Job, chapter 1 and verse 21. Naked. And said, naked came out of my mother's womb. Came I out of my mother's womb. And naked shall I return thither. Naked shall I return. The Lord gave. Listen at this. The Lord gave. Listen at this. That's right. Listen at this. Job chapter 1 and verse 21. Says what? The Lord gave. The Lord gave. And the Lord has taken away. And the Lord take away. Blessed be what? the Lord. Blessed. Blessed. How do God feel after he do this? Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Do you hear this? Amen. Many of us have lost many things. Oh, yes. You don't see God crying? <laughs> no. God ain't felt sad about it. Oh, no. He said he's blessed. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You don't want crying and feel all sorry, but thank God. Amen. That's Many right. things that God will take from you. Yeah. You know, some of us have to lose something. Yeah. And the loss of that thing will bring us closer to him. That's right. Oh, yes. That's right. Some of us need heaven to turn our life totally upside down. Oh, yes. Oh, in yes. order for our attention to be held. That's right. You see, one thing I was raised up, my mother and father instilled in me, the teaching of putting God first and keeping God first. Yeah. And I refuse, I always refuse to remove myself from that teaching long as I live. Because that's what the scripture tells us to do. That's right. And many of us have got away from putting God first yeah. because other things have entered in Indeed. your life. That's right. And 
those things became a distraction. Sometimes right. comfortable living. <laughs> That's true. Amen. The has cares. became a distraction for many people. That's true. Don't pray as much. Don't fast as much at all. At all. Comfortable living. Comfortable. So God will smite you. Yes, he will. And take away that comfort. That's right. Or he has smite you so you cannot enjoy your comfort. That's right. Eh? That's right. That'll make your attention to go back to where it was. That's right. Back in the hands of God. Amen. You better hear this. You better hear this warning. Oh, you yes. stiff neck, hard head things out there go ahead, that hate the word of God. You better get this. That's right. Listen at what I'm telling you. That's right. The Bible says what? The Lord gave. The Lord gave. And the Lord hath taken away. The Lord hath taken away. Blessed. Blessed. Be the name of the Lord. Look at your children now. Yes. Who's to say God won't take them that'll draw you closer to him? That's right. Look at your health. Who's to say God won't smite it? That's right. So it can draw you closer to him. Look That's at the car you drive. Who's to say God won't allow it to be torn to pieces? That's right. That I drawn you, glory to God, closer to him. That's right. Look at the house you have. Yes. Who to say God don't give it permission to burn to the ground. Oh, yes. That I make you turn to him. Amen. Do you hear the Bible talk? And said, naked came out of my mother's womb. Naked. naked. Did I come out my mother's womb and naked shall I return? The Lord gave. The Lord gave. And the Lord had taken away. And the away. Lord take away. Bless. Bless. Be the name All of right, the go Lord. back to Lamentations here. Back in Lamentations chapter 3 and out verse 25. Everybody all right? Amen. Listen at this. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him. The Lord is good. It's good to them. That wait for him. That wait for him. To the soul that seeketh him. To the soul seeketh that seek him. him. You that are watching and you that are here. Yes. Seek God out. That's right. And God will lead you to the truth of God. Yes, he will. You want to be right? Yes, he will. God will lead you right to the truth. That's right. Oh, man, the Cornelius was praying, praying and giving much alms to the people until an angel came from God out of heaven, out of heaven. and told him to send men to Joppa. Call right. for one Simon, whose surname is Peter, Peter. who largest one Simon a Tanner, whose house is by the seaside. Yes. When he come, he will tell thee what thou oughtest to do. Oughtest to do. This man prayed until the Lord gave Peter, uh, gave Cornelius yeah. Peter address. That's right. Can you imagine that? Imagine that. Let, gave him Peter address. That's right. Amen. Peter came there and thanked God and preached the word of God the word. to the Italian band. Oh, yes. And while he yet spake the word, the Holy Ghost fell yeah. on all them that heard it. And then Peter asked, can any man forbid water? Thank God that these should not be baptized, which received the Holy Ghost like we did. That's he right. commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. the Lord. You that are listening and you that are here, you might as well make it up in your mind now. Oh, yes. Now, this day, now. That's right. To obey God. For he saith, I have heard thee. God heard you. In, in a time in accepted. In chapter and verse. Second Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 2. Listen. For he saith, I have heard thee in a time accepted. I have heard thee. In a time accepted. And in the day of salvation have I secured thee. What did God advise us through the apostle? Behold, now. What? Now. Now. Is the accepted time. Glory to God. Amen. Now. Now is, is the, the accepted time. Behold, now. Now. Is the day of salvation. Now. Many men wrote me and said, Pastor Jennings, the gang I was in, we were told we couldn't get out. Hmm. I had a man talk to me about that, a young brother. He said, Pastor Jennings, I want to be saved, but the gang I'm in, they said, I can't get out. Mm. I said, they told you that? He said, yeah, I, I want to get out. I want to be right. He said, my friends are dead, and my friends are still dying. He said, I don't want to end up like them. Right. He said, what should I do? Mm. I said, go to your gang captain. He said, what? I said, go to him. Tell him you want to follow the truth of God and tell him Pastor Amen. Jennings is the overseer. Amen. He said, what? 
I said, just go tell him. He called me. He was in California. He called me all the way from California. He had to make me remember who he was because it was a few months after he called. He began to make me remember who he was. I said, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, you was a member of the blood. He said, I've done exactly what you suggest. Wonderful. He said, did you not know when I mentioned your name to this man, he knew exactly who you was? Amen. I said, what? He said, Pastor Jenny, Amen. it was the most craziest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Here we was in a abandoned house where we was hanging out at. Different ones smoking crack, sitting around with guns, some with all type of guns displaying and whatnot. And I did exactly what you said. I went to him and told him I, am, I want out. Mm. He said him and the other ones that's supposed to have been here, they got up and said, you know, in our gang, the only way you get out, you get carried out. He mm. said, I know, but I want to follow the truth of God. Yeah. And there's a preacher named Pastor Gino Jennings. Yeah. He said, everything got quiet. <laughs> he, said the man, he said, the man looked at me. He said, wait a minute, I'm going to see, are you for real? He said they had a big flat screen in their place, an abandoned house, and yet they hotwired a big flat screen to put up. <laughs> he said he fished through it. He said he pulled you up right in where the room we was in. He said, you want to follow that man? Mm. He said, yes, that's the one. He said, I've been watching him for three months. He said, if you want to follow him, mm. that's the best choice you ever made. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. As tough as his gang leader was, as tough as he was, Amen. he told him, I hope one day I can have enough courage mm. to follow that man mm. like you all want to do. Wonderful. He said, right now, I don't have the courage. Mm. I know what he's preaching is right, but right now, I just don't have the courage. My Lord. The world is dying. Oh, yes. With no God. No God. That's right. Your glory in what you steal, your glory in the lives you take, That's right. and your glory in the ones you cheat. Yeah. But you cannot get away oh from God. what you're doing because you've got to stand before God. Before God. That's right. That's the thing I want everybody to remember. That's right. Everybody must stand before God. Everybody. I'm just one voice crying out in the wilderness of the world. That's right. Not just America, but the world. That's right. Come on back. That's right. Come on back to Bible. Come on back. That's right. Glory to God. Let us understand this. Okay. It's going to either be God's way. Yeah. Or no way. Or no way. So it makes my heart. I know there's many times I feel discouraged. Of course it is. There's no way you can be in my position and feel encouraged all the time. No way. I ain't God, man, many times I don't feel like stepping in the pulpit preaching to nobody. Oh, yes. Amen. But I ask God to Hallelujah. help me. Hallelujah. Amen. When I hear the testimony <laughs> of the different ones and how the broadcast have saved the lives of many, oh, yes. many, many. This, this message have saved some folk life, natural life. Wonderful. Have saved their life. Wonderful. Amen. When you can talk to a man or a woman who was about to commit suicide. Yeah. Amen. And never heard us in their life. My Lord, my Lord. And then we come up on a phone or come up on television. And they hear the word of God and drop the gun, drop the knife, drop the needle. Amen. And repent right there. Amen. And then find the nearest church and go down in water Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus Christ. That's encouraging. That's right. Amen. That's right. 
So I understand that this is not falling in vain. No, it's not. Amen. It's no. not falling in vain. Oh, no. Everyone that's walking with the truth Amen. truly got a testimony down in their soul. Hallelujah. Of, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Of what God Almighty hallelujah. have delivered them from. That's right. There's some that's still fighting. Yes. Still struggling. Oh, yes. Thank God. But if they seek the Lord, seek the Lord. God Almighty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God Almighty will give them victory like it did those in the past. That's right. The Bible says in Lamentations, what? The, the Lord is good unto them. Do you hear this? Back in Lamentations 3 and verse 25. The Lord is good unto them. That wait for him. Hallelujah. Good unto them. Good. Good. Bible said there's none good but one. Oh, yes. And that one is God. Hallelujah. The Lord is good unto them. That wait for him. I'm waiting for him. Oh, Aren't yes. you waiting for him for something? Amen. Hallelujah. Viewers, Hallelujah. this message come to you Hallelujah. weekly over and over and over. That's right. And we're not over the air to entertain you. No. No way. We're over the air to warn you. That's right. Get yourself right with God. That's it. All of you that were baptized, That's right. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost was yeah. baptized wrong. That's right. Not some of you, all of you. All of you. You that were sprinkled yeah. in the Catholic Church, you ain't never been baptized. No. Everybody that was baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you no more saved than the worst sinner out there in the street. That's right. Who? Everybody. Everybody. Jesus Hallelujah. said, amen, teach all nations, baptize them amen. in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And I have said moreover, I'm a son, I'm a husband, I'm a father, right. but I got a name. That's right. Amen, I got a name. Got a name. You know, we're in the soul-saving business. Yes. And we got to save souls in the name of the business. <laughs> That's it. And the one that owned the business is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Eh? That's right. Amen. So you want to find what business is out there. Someone tell you, well, you go to that pawn shop. There's a whole lot of pawn shops. A whole lot of pawn shops. Go to Kevin Jones Pawn Shop. Yeah. Why? That's Kevin Jones' business. That's right. Amen. And so when you go there, you go down that neighborhood looking for Kevin Jones pawn shop. That's right. Well, I'm in the Jesus Christ business. <laughs> That's right. And everything he do in his business is in his name. Whatsoever you do. Glory to God. Amen. Do you hear this? In Colossians chapter 3 and verse 17. Colossians chapter 3 and verse 17. And whatsoever you do. Whatsoever. Whatsoever you do. Hear this now. Hear this. Get it good. Amen. Whether you white, brown, yellow, red, or yellow, I don't care what color you are. That's right. Amen. Forget about your color. Come on back to the Bible. <laughs> That's it. Hear what the Word of God says here. Colossians chapter 3 and verse 17. What is it? And whatsoever you do. Whatsoever. Whatsoever. You do. In word. In word. Or deed. Or deed. Do all. Do all. In the name of of the Lord Jesus. Now when you're about to be baptized, some words are being said. That's right. And baptism is a deed that's being performed. That's right. So the words that are said and the deeds that are performed mm -hmm. must be done how? Do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. How much of it? Do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. That's the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That's right. He said do it in the name of of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, That's the right. name, N-A-M-E, not N-A-M-E-S, no. but N-A-M-E. If I tell you do something in my name, mm -hmm. somebody come in here and say, Father. Amen. All of us that got children gonna start looking around, who you want, who you yeah. talking about? Son, yes. every man gonna look. That's right. Husband, all married men gonna look. That's right. Even them that got three wives gonna look around. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> but if I call the name, call the name, Joseph McIntosh, one That's man. Right. That's right. <laughs> Just one man. That's right. Just one man gonna say, "Oh, you want me?" Yeah. 
You want me? Now, Mr. McIntosh, I got an air conditioning heating problem. I would like your services uh, to come down there and service uh, the heating and air conditioner in my home. He gonna call uh, Brother McIntosh. He ain't gonna call me to fix his air conditioner no. or heating because I'm in the uh, Bible business. <laughs> he right. in the heating and air conditioner business. That's right. Jesus is in the saving business. That's right. Do you hear this? And whatsoever you do. Whatever. Give chapter and verse again. Colossians chapter 3 and verse 17. The Bible never said bow your head and raise your hands. No. You might as well just stop that man-made salvation now. That's right. The Bible ain't never said you want a church home, I give you a home. All of you that claim you got saved by watching any televised evangelistic mega church preaching liar. <laughs> That's right. None of you ever been saved. None of you. Not one. That's right. I said anything that a mega church told you, church. bow your head and raise your hands, mm -hmm. accept Christ as your personal savior. Right. This is the hour of decision. That's right. Hold the preacher's hand and pray a sinner's prayer. That's right. Be baptized, Father, Son, the Holy Ghost. All of you are still sinners right now. Right now. From your pastor down. That's right. Not one That's is right. born again. That's right. Glory to God, the word of God says what? And whatsoever you do. Whatever you do. In word. That got the priest. Whatsoever you do. That got the Pope of Rome. That, that's right. That got every archbishop that's walking the planet. Go ahead, man. What did he say? And whatsoever you do. Whatever, 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 whatever. Ye every do. nun, every nun, ahead, every man. priest, every altar boy, every monk got to stop monkeying around <laughs> and right. come on back to Bible. That's right. What he said? And whatsoever you do. Whatever you do. In word. Your baby not baptized. Amen. You can bring your baby to a priest and let him stand over him That's and right. speak Latin all day. All he day. ain't baptized. No, no, no. He can pour water on his head all day. all day. He long. is not baptized. That's right. When you're baptized, your body must go down, down in water. water. That's right. Give me the sixth chapter of the book of Romans. And at verse 1. And begin at verse 1. What shall we say then? What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin? That grace may abound. That grace may abound. God, God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? What is it? Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized, baptized into, into his, his death. death. Therefore, Therefore, we are buried with him. We are sprinkled with him by baptism. We are buried with him by baptism. No, we are sprinkled with him by baptism. We are buried with him by baptism. No, they pour water on your head by baptism. We are buried with him by baptism. Do you hear that? Into death. You hear that? That's right. All of you that been sprinkled, you don't need to get offended and get mad. It's not in the Bible. It's not in there. You Protestants and Episcopalians and Catholics and all and everything that broke off from the Catholic Church. That's right. The Lutheran, every last one of you been baptized wrong. That's right. You that are fighting to me over internet that been baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Yeah. None of you are baptized. That's None right. of you. That's right. None of you. None of you. None of you. Your mama, your daddy, your household, all of you are baptized wrong. That's right. Come on back. Come on back. To what the Bible says. And what's so Repent. 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 And be baptized. Every one of you. How much have you? Every one of you. Every one of you. In the name of in Jesus Christ. In the name Christ. of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sins. For to get your sins washed away. And you That's shall what remission of sins means. That's right. For the removing of your sins. That's it. And what? And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Even my cameramen that are here, they got that to obey. Amen. I done had some obey. Go ahead, man. Hey man, I know they hear it constantly too. Man, all that editing, <laughs> all that editing, they got to do in the studios. That's right. And editing. I remember Ron Skaleski before he got baptized. He said, man, I hear this thing so much blowing up in my studio. I just concluded I might as well get ready to obey it. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I remember one of my cameramen is not here. Uh, and who worked the sound, he used to work the sound, uh, Brother John. I remember we was preaching the word of God one day, that thing pricked his heart so bad, he broke down and cried like a baby. And uh, before we dismissed, I was looking around for John and figure, trying to figure out where he was. Somebody takes a picture on my phone before I left the pulpit. There was just created baptized, and they caught him just like this. Amen. Up in the pool. 
ready to go down in water. Amen. I'm telling you, the end of all things is at hand. Oh, yes. And one day your breath is going to leave your body. Oh, yes. The Bible said the dead knoweth nothing. That's right. It is your spirit that is the awareness of your being. That's right. When your spirit depart from your body and your spirit look and see the house that it used to yes, dwell yes. in, yes. your corpse, your spirit will know, That's right. I cannot repent for nothing, nothing now. That's right. I cannot correct nothing now. That's right. I cannot obey nothing now. now. Amen. Your spirit will know oh, yes. either you're lost yeah. or you will be saved. And the very thought of it sends shivers down my body. That's right. Amen. To be alive now and not take advantage of the life I'm living. That's right. Many of you write me and say, man, you preach hard. Oh, yes. Don't you understand it's hard to stop sinning? Yeah, sure. Oh, yes. Sure it is. It's real hard. The body is made to love sin. That's right. If somebody come tell you they don't love sin, don't pay them no mind. No, don't pay them no mind. Only one that don't love, only one that don't love sin is God. That's right. Even the ones that are trying to live right, there's certain sins they love. Oh yes. Am I right? I said. Oh yes. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Oh yes. If you tell, if you tell the truth of it, that's the truth. There's of it. certain sins that every, I don't care how old you are. No. Amen. I want to say happy belated birthday to Mother. Uh, Mildred Johnson, I believe she's uh, 94 for her 94th birthday. Thank God for her. Amen. Listen, if, it doesn't matter how old you are. <laughs> I guarantee if that mind's still sharp, there's some sin that <laughs> if you had enough strength and you can be saved by doing it, Amen. you would do it. Oh, yes. Amen. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I can speak for myself. <laughs> right. Amen. If God would allow mm -hmm. me to just go. Come on, I'm coming, Logan. <laughs> if it was God's will, like I often say, you know where I would be this be. Sunday morning. I wouldn't be here among you. No. I'd find a jazz club. Amen. With a nice grand piano, about that size, or maybe a little bit bigger. Amen. A nice smoky atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Amen. Not that I sm will want to smoke. I don't. But just nice. Just that, that, that view. <laughs> Have an old microphone look like this. <laughs> Have someone singing in the microphone with a voice like Ella Fitzgerald or Billy Holiday or, or Sarah Vaughan. <laughs> and someone playing a hollow box guitar with nylon strings and amen, playing it very mellow and hitting the drums, no sticks. Give me some brushes. Yeah. Upright bass guitar. Yeah. Playing real good. And make sure you have a trumpet with the mute on it. Amen. That's in the background. So I can just sit there. Not smoking. I hate smoking. Not drinking. I hate the smell of it. Mm -hmm. Just that my ear may enjoy the sound of it. Yes. And I can bite my lip a little. Mm -hmm. <laughs> huh? Then, and, and, and then when it's time to leave, look up, make sure Jesus ain't come. <laughs> Glory to God. Huh? Amen. Amen. Look up. Make sure Jesus ain't make nowhere sure around. <laughs> That's why many of the folk uh, have a lot of respect for us because I'm a down to earth, I'm a real preacher. That's right. We keep it real in every way. That's right. Amen. So, yes. That's right. We do understand that to stay away from what you love is hard. Very hard. What is very hard. Very hard. <laughs> I had to laugh. I was listening to Bishop Johnson. He'd been dead 61 years, and he was preaching about how hard it is <laughs> to stop sinning for minutes. He said, I'm a man, too. He said, I stay like Paul. I'm a man just like you are. He yeah. said it was left up to me. I wouldn't preach against women wearing shorts. 
He said, I would tell the women the shorts you got on is just too short. They ain't short enough. <laughs> he said, that's what I would tell them. Amen. He said, I'll tell all the women that wear shorts, the shorts you got on, they're not short enough. <laughs> Make them shorter. Amen. Amen. Why? That's the man side of him. Anytime you come on back to the Bible, the Bible forces you to be real with yourself. That's right. And if you're that big of a fool, you will lie to yourself about yourself, you then you know you ought to die and go to hell. That's right. Remember what the Bible says. Back in Lamentations 3, verses 25 and 26. Says what? The Lord is good unto them that wait for him. The Lord. Whatever you're waiting on God for to deliver you from, he'll do it. Yes, he will. Don't never get so saved that you declare God delivered you something from something, and he didn't. That's right. It's like I don't know how to shoot pool. I, I can't do it. But my wife, she's laid back, quiet and cool, but that girl is from the hood. She can shoot pool. Amen. Amen. My sister-in-law can bear witness. She can shoot pool. <laughs> she can shoot a pool. When I first met her uh, about 47 years ago, yeah. mm. we was kids. I remember when I first came to the house and took me around the house and introduced me to everybody. She took me. I remember one night we went to the basement, and there was a big pool table there. Yeah. Now, here I don't know a thing about shooting pool. And I figure I show my little man self. She said, "You know, you know how to shoot pool." I, said, I just lied to say, "Yeah, yeah." I'm saying to my mind, "I ain't gonna let you show me up." Now, a experienced pool shooter can tell whether you know how to shoot pool just by holding the stick. That's right. Don't cue it yet. Just hold it. So, you know, I just try to remember what I saw on television. <laughs> I went over there. I said, well, give me the stick, you know. I said, where the, where the chalk? Where the chalk at? <laughs> she gave me the chalk. She said, here it is. I cued the stick. I had my fingers positioned all wrong and everything. The ball was right there. I went right past it. I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 I ain't got it right, wait a minute. <laughs> Went back to it again, shoo, right past it. So then she said, let me take it. <laughs> she took, took the stick, killed it, got it all lined up, broke it with, with, with such loudness, pow, pow. <laughs> then she looked at me. <laughs> Amen. Now, you think if it was godly and we can do it, you think she wouldn't like to play pool? Oh, yeah. It'll bring back a whole lot of things to her memory. That's right. Now, brothers and sisters, serving God is a life of self-denial. Self -denial. And when you deny yourself, you have what is called withdrawal symptoms. Oh, yes. And those withdrawal symptoms that you're dealing with is you restraining yourself from not doing yeah. what you used to do that's against God, and you have to ask God to help you overcome. That's right. Do you hear what the Bible says? The Lord is good unto them that the Lord wait for him. The Lord is good unto, unto them, them that unto wait him, for him. That wait for him. For him. To the soul that seeketh him. To the soul that seek him. It is good that a man should both hope. It is good for a man should, should both hope. And quietly wait. Quietly wait. For the salvation of the Lord. For God's salvation. That's right. So whatever you're struggling with, you that are watching and you that are here, let God deliver you. Oh, yes. It doesn't matter what it is. Oh, yes. Let God deliver you. That's right. Some of you are pawn addicts. That's right. You just have to watch it. You got an addiction. Yeah. Or addicts. I've dealt with cases where men have told me they've been watching it since five. Mm. And they are uh, 55 now. Oh, 
porn addicts. My Lord, my Lord. They're just as much of an addict as it is shooting something up in their veins. Yeah. Amen. There's yeah. not an addiction under the sun yeah. that God Almighty can't help you from. That's right. Do you understand? That's right. There's some women that walk the streets, prostitutes, some do it to survive. Yeah. Some do it, feed their children. Some do it, addiction. Addiction. Whatever the condition may be. That's right. God can deliver you. Yes. God can clean you up. Yes. God just wants you to make it up in your mind that you want him and only him above everything. That's right. Now you will find yourself. That's right. You'll find yourself repenting of your sins and being baptized in water. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ and seeking God for the Holy Ghost. That's right. That's why I don't frown upon nobody to have an addiction. No. Addictions come in all categories. Don't you frown upon nobody that have an addiction. That's right. You pray for them. Pray for them. That God may help them to overcome. That's right. And that God may deliver them. That's right. You go laughing at somebody that got an addiction and your child may end up with the same addiction. Oh, yes. If not worse. Oh, yes. Let's close out with Acts 2, 38. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized, every one of you. All right, you that are here. They want to get themselves right with God once and for all. Oh, yes. Want to be saved the right way. That's right. Don't want this false church and man-made religion, foolishness that is spread around the world. That's right. This is what God wants you to do. Then Peter said unto them, repent. God wants you to be sorry about your wrong. That's Who, right. Pastor Jennings? Well, everybody. Everybody matter what kind of wrong you've done yeah. or what kind of wrong you're doing. That's right. God wants you to be sorry about it and uh, be affected in the heart. That's it. Feel some remorse. Yeah. That's right. You get a person that got remorse, you won't have no problems getting them in water. Yes. What is that? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized every one of you. Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sins. Or to get your sins removed. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Anybody want to be baptized today in the name of Jesus Christ and obey what the word of God says, stand on your feet if you want it. Amen. Wonderful. Amen. Wonderful. Amen. Wonderful. That's a wonderful thing. Well, I thank God moreover how the word of God continue, continuously catches the men and catch the women oh, yes. unto salvation. You that are watching, come out of the churches you're in, all of them, all of them. and follow God's word to the letter. God say, be holy. Everybody be holy. That's right. And when you be holy, God knows you are take on the characteristics of Christ himself. Who can give me the correct time now, brothers? 236, all right. We'll be back at five o'clock. Let us all stand as Minister Williams will close us out in prayer. Father God, we do come to you once again in the name of Jesus Christ. We wanna thank you once again for all of your blessings and for your tender mercies. We thank you, Lord God, for how you blessed us and how you allowed us to hear thine word. Bless us now, Father God, not only to be hearers, but doers of the scriptures. Remember those that desire to be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Bless them and help them, my God, that they may be filled with the Holy Ghost, speaking in tongues as the Spirit of God does give utterance. Look upon the pastor, my God, continue to strengthen his natural body, Keep your word in his mouth. Hallelujah. My God, keep him standing in your counsel. Remember all of us that are here this day. Strengthen us, O oh God. Help us, bless us, and protect us. My God, until we come back again, 
We do pray and ask all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.